Hey guys, Southeast Soft Wash. So we're gonna do a little bit of troubleshooting here and walk you guys through. This is not one of our units. This is one of our competitors' trailer builds. One of the guys came and took the class today, Soft Wash 101, and he brought his trailer with him. And so we were out here trying to help him figure out what was going on. He's had this trailer a little while. He said he did the first two jobs and he started having issues. So there's a couple things here wrong with the concept. And then one thing wrong with the concept and one thing wrong with how it was put together. So let me show you guys simple stuff. Fortunately for him, it'll be an easy fix. His problem is, come in here close, he's not able to pull consistent ratios. Okay, so let's start at the concept level. Big obvious thing I see here when I look at this is this is a open ball valve, just a regular Schedule 80 ball valve. If you look straight through this thing, it's just a hole. Well, your Kim's bleach and two soaps, this one's not used, but these are metering valves. These are Ashai. I don't like the Ashai's. They're fine. I just don't prefer them. One reason I don't like the Ashai's is because all of your adjustment is in a very short range of motion. We like 180 degree motion because we can be more accurate with the valve. That's not a big deal. That's just a Cody preference. But you've got metering here and no metering here on the water. So when this pump is running, this is a gas pump. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of them either, but that's besides the point. When this pump is running and it's sucking through this assembly, it's going to suck a lot more flow right here because there's nothing inside this regular old ball valve to restrict that flow. When we build a system, we put metering valves on everything. Not that we really need to meter the water, but we do need uniformity in the system. So from a design perspective, that's a, a little bit of an issue there. Again, you can kind of work around that by sort of throttling the valve back, but it's never going to be accurate like you want it to be. And guys, look, it's a hundred dollars more, 150 bucks more to do it right. This is a expensive system, just do it right. So that's that's a pet peeve. Another thing, Nick, come around here and, and you guys can see this is moving and it shouldn't be moving. Uh, Nick is holding the camera and we build these systems every day. We've done over 200 just this year. We're halfway through the year. The other thing about this is it does not have any mounting points on the back of this ball valve. There's no bolt holes. And so this has vibrated over time, not much time. It's vibrated on them and messed them up just within the first couple of weeks of usage so we're going cheap here and we're screwing up our hydraulic flow and we're also lacking a mounting point to be able to lock this down which has caused that to be able to rock and now he's got an air leak all right so that's kind of and eh, we don't need to do that the other problem i have with the execution come over here nick is even though this side didn't have this side didn't have the capability to bolt it down this one did and nobody bolted it down so this one has also got an air leak, okay? I put my hand up here a second ago and I was just able to set up. There's your problem, I was able to turn that. But this one's really bad, this one's also bad. So he's got an air leak on two lines on basically a brand new system because here we were not using the correct thing and here we didn't take the time to bolt this down. So what should have happened is a bolt should have came through the back and at least anchored one side of that so it couldn't vibrate. It's on a trailer, it's bouncing down the road, you got a gas engine running. It, it, vibrations are gonna happen, but we gotta try to engineer out as much of that as possible. Same thing here, uh, Nick, let me see the, the phone. So kind of because of the nature of these smaller valves that we're using for soap, they don't touch the back wall here, all right? So you're gonna have a difficult time bolting that. When we drill our blocks, we offset that stuff so that it can everything can attach that back mounting plate and uh, you can be as rock solid as possible so not to bash on somebody um but if you're gonna buy a rig you need to know not everybody's building things that knows what they're doing some guys are they're learning as they go the unfortunate thing is is they're learning on the customer hope you guys have a great weekend we'll see you later